10,000 years ago, the first invasion began. Demons poured through a portal opened by the Kaldori Highborn, and sought the Well of Eternity's arcane magics for themselves. Ten years ago, the second invasion stormed across Azeroth, summoned by the necromancer Kel'Thuzad. Again they sought the powers of the Well of Eternity, and again they were thwarted. Now, Azeroth once more stands on the eve of a third invasion, an unimaginable tide of destruction that promises to dwarf all previous attempts to conquer the planet. Where did these demons come from, and why are they so intent on seeing Azeroth burn? This is the Burning Legion. Witness the flames that have consumed countless worlds. All will burn in the Legion's fire. The Titans come from a long time before the history of Azeroth, from somewhere out in the cosmos. Their goal was simply to create order among the chaos of the universe, to shape the worlds to their imagination and bring peace to the living races of each of the planets they touched. Their work wasn't carried out without resistance, however. From the Twisting Nether, demons poured forth, seeking to destroy all life and consume the energies of the universe. The Nathrezim, the Moarg, the Syad, the Infernals. The Titans fought back, and eventually laid the task of defending these worlds on the shoulders of their greatest champion. Sargeras earnestly took up this duty, and for many millennia fought against the unending tide of the demonic armies. Killing a demon is not enough to stop its evils. Their twisted spirit returns to the nether, only to re-emerge once more, renewed and ready for vengeance. Instead, Sargeras created a planet known as Mardun. There he imprisoned as many of the demonic filth as he could get his hands on. But evil survived, and continued its relentless war against the living. As a titan, Sargeras found it hard to comprehend such an inexhaustible drive for destruction. Eventually, it drove him into a deep depression. In his brooding, he came to a conclusion. To defeat evil and achieve true order, the universe would have to be destroyed and remade, removing the underlying defect. Only then could the Titan's mission succeed. Thus, he began the Burning Crusade. Sargeras broke free the demons he trapped upon Mardun, and began a relentless scouring of countless worlds. He sought out beings smart enough to act as his tacticians, and eventually came upon the utopian world of Argus. There lived the Eridar, with whom Sargeras made a deal. Power for loyalty. Of the three leaders of the Eridar, Two accepted the offer without hesitation, and became Sargeras's head lieutenants, Archimon the Defiler and Kil'jaeden the Deceiver. The third leader, Prophet Velen, foresaw the demonic transformations of those who served the Burning Legion, and instead fled his homeworld with the help of interdimensional travelers, the Naru. Velen and the Eridar that turned down Sargeras's offer are now known as the Draenei. 10,000 years ago, while Sargeras and his legion roamed the universe, the powers emanating from the Well of Eternity fell under Sargeras' scrutiny. Desiring the magics held within the well, Sargeras whispered to Queen Ashara and her highborn, convincing her to open a portal through which he could enter Azeroth. Ashara agreed, and the highborn began the summoning process. Soon, a demonic vanguard was pouring forth from the city of Zinashari, establishing a foothold and beginning their conquest of the large supercontinent of Kalimnor. Many of the Kaldore fought back against the tide, most notably Malfurion Stormrage and Tyrande Whisperwind. They were assisted by the Dragonflights and the demigod Cenarius. Crassus, the Red Dragon, Ronin, the Mage, and Broxigar, the Orc, were thrown back in time by a time rift to the Legion's first invasion, also known as the War of the Ancients. They also assisted in the defense of Azeroth with Broxigar inflicting a small wound on Sargeras himself, buying enough time for Crassus and Malfurion to close the portal on top of Sargeras. The Well of Eternity buckled on itself, releasing an explosion that resulted in the destruction of much of Azeroth's landmass. The continents today are shattered remains of the once large Kalimdor. The first invasion had failed. Over 9,000 years later, Aegwyn, the guardian of Tearsfall, became aware of a demonic presence in the northern continent of Northrend. There, she discovered demons slaughtering dragons, backed by an avatar of Sargeras. Alone, she defeated the demons and went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Dark Titan's avatar, eventually defeating it, 
Knowing the fell magics the corpse would contain, she cast the body into the ocean, locking it away in the submerged ruins of Suramar, in a building now known as the Tome of Sargeras. What Aegwyn didn't know, however, was that defeat was Sargeras's plan from the start. His spirit entered Aegwyn's body, and there it waited for centuries, until the birth of Medivh. Sargeras possessed Medivh's mind, and when the timing was right, drove Medivh to the Black Morass, where he opened the Dark Portal. At the portal's other end, Kil'jaeden had enacted a plan on Draenor to corrupt the Orc clans. With the help of Gul'dan, Kil'jaeden convinced the clans to drink of the blood of Manoroth. The Orcs, consumed by a blood frenzy, slaughtered the Draenei that had made Draenor their home, and stormed through the Dark Portal. Thus began the second major invasion. Gul'dan didn't condemn the Orcs for free, of course. To coax the Orc shaman into the plan, Sargeras, acting as Medivh, promised the Orc near godhood. Should the Orcish horde succeed, Gul'dan was to go in search of the Tome of Sargeras, where unimaginable power was locked away. The first war between the Orcs and the humans resulted in the destruction of Stormwind and the human retreat to Lordaeron. The Orcs pursued, leading to the second war as they besieged the kingdom of Lordaeron. It appeared Kil'jaeden's cunning plan was succeeding. Gul'dan abandoned the horde at its most critical moment, taking with him both the Storm Reaver and the Twilight's Hammer clans. Doomhammer pursued to exact justice, taking the Blackrock clan with him. With the Horde so fractured, the alliance created between the humans, dwarves, and blood elves of the continent of Lordaeron were able to push back, eventually destroying the Dark Portal itself and ending the Second War. The second invasion, it had appeared, had failed. But Kil'jaeden was not finished yet. On Draenor, the orc shaman Ner'zhul attempted to open multiple portals to worlds he could conquer with the orcish horde. The magic shattered the planet, creating the floating remains called Outland, and Ner'zhul fled through one of the portals. Kil'jaeden was waiting for him, and created from Ner'zhul the spirit of the Lich King, trapped in the frozen throne in Northrend. He sent the Cult of the Damned into Azeroth, as well as the Dreadlords, initiating the Third War. Arthas Menethil was corrupted by the power of Frostmourne and assisted Kel'Thuzad in summoning Archimon to Azeroth, before merging with Ner'zhul and taking control of the undead Scourge for himself. With Archimon summoned, it was a race against time to keep the Eridar from destroying Nordrassil and taking the remaining power of the Well of Eternity for himself. Archimon was eventually defeated, once more at a great cost to the Night Elves, and the demonic armies were destroyed. The second invasion had finally failed. The Legion continued their attempts at invading Azeroth. Sargeras had disappeared completely after the death of Medivh, and Archimonde was left recovering in the Twisting Nether. Outland would become a bastion for Legion activity, and small pockets of demons still roamed Azeroth, burning and corrupting what they could. It would take another Gul'dan, on another Draenor, in another time, to set into motion the Legion's next move. After summoning Archimon to Hellfire Citadel and witnessing the Eridar's defeat at the hands of adventuring heroes, Archimon sent Gul'dan through a portal to the Azeroth of our time. His instructions? Find the Tome of Sargeras and use the powers there to open a portal. Gather the powers necessary to begin a third invasion, an invasion to dwarf all previous attempts. Consume Azeroth. And summon the Dark Titan into our world.